Hi, I'm Kelso from 310 Sign, and I'm here to help guide you through the buying process of your solar powered traffic products, such as electronic message boards, incident response trailers, radar speed trailers, portable aero boards, and solar towers. Now I'm gonna to start with, in my opinion, the most important features of solar tech. And I'm gonna keep this short and sweet so I can keep your interest. If you have any of the questions after watching our videos, feel free to contact us. We can help you select the best options that suit your needs and keep you on budget. First, let's start with the price. How much do they cost? Well, this is the most frequently asked question that we get. Although we make the buying process simple and handle everything from optimization, customization, to shipping it right to your front door, the price can vary significantly. And even though the price is important, I'm gonna leave this question to the very end of the video. We'll come back to this. Now, some of the main features I'm gonna highlight are setup for Northern Canadian climates, the quality construction and superior rust resistance, the easy to use graphical user interface, the intuitive software, and the integrated GPS receiver and GSM modem. Let's start with the true north, batteries. If you live in Canada, you know they can get a little chilly from time to time, like 80% of the time. The fact is, not all construction happens on the bright sunny days like we have today. Before you order your units, it's important to know how your batteries and how your solar panels can affect the functionality and the continuous runtime of your machine. As a standard, solar tech base models are well equipped to operate in southern climates. Being that it doesn't get as cold down south, they don't require as many solar panels, nor do they have to worry about freezing batteries due to extreme temperature changes. Now, typical lead acid batteries are filled with distilled water, and the issue is that when they freeze, the water expands and it tends to swell the casing. In turn, this causes it to crack, ultimately ruining your battery. We would highly recommend upgrading your battery to the new gel or AGM batteries. Now, AGM stands for absorbent glass mat. Now there's tons of information on Google, and without getting into too many of the technical details, they operate much better in lower temperatures. Although they may still freeze in extreme temperatures, the difference is they don't contain any water and they won't expand to the point of damaging your battery. Once the temperature returns to a normal level, the battery can continue to operate unaffected. Although they're initially a little bit more expensive to upgrade versus the standard lead acid batteries, you'll save a lot of money in the long run by not having to replace your batteries as often. Let's go to the solar panels. As you probably guessed, solar panels collect rays from the sun to charge the unit's batteries for operation. The larger the surface area, the faster your batteries are going to charge. However, there's a greater factor to consider when dealing with northern areas such as Canada. As you already know, when the seasons change from fall to winter, less daylight becomes available, and it gets dark outside much faster. But this isn't the only factor that would limit the operational ability to use solar power. In Canada, and the further north you go, the sun doesn't reach as high of a peak point in the sky as it does in southern areas. This means that even in the summer, the sun provides a limited amount of optimal charging time because it doesn't get as high in the sky. Once again, without getting into too many of the technicalities, we highly recommend upgrading your solar panel array so that you can increase the surface area able to collect more power of the sun. Alternate charging. If for any reason your unit isn't able to run continuously due to a prolonged gloomy period like cloudy days, you can still charge your unit using an external power source such as a generator, a trickle charger, or an extension cord directly to a building outlet. One of the great features, which I'm going to get into in a minute, is the automatic notification and alerts, such as notifying you when your battery is running low. Construction. Quality is an overused marketing term nowadays. It's also a given. In keeping with our Canadian theme, I want to explain to you why SolarTech holds the upper hand when it comes to the quality construction of their machines. The first thing I'd like to highlight is the superior rust resistance. Now in Canada, if you're about to buy a used vehicle, one of the first things you check for are signs of rust. Typically, these types of machines are powder coated, but SolarTech uses a two-part polyamide epoxy primer and acrylic urethane finish, which prevents rusting. If you're using your unit like you're supposed to be, it's inevitable. You're gonna get rock chips to the frame while you're hauling it down the highway or gravel roads. But the difference is, when you get a rock chip on a powder coated unit, the rust tends to develop into a bubble, spread, and start to flake off. Now, I'm not saying that SolarTech's units won't rust if they get chipped, but the process prevents the spreading of the rust any further, and it's not gonna bubble or flake off. 
Secondly, the units are designed for toolless maintenance and the parts are very easy to replace. In fact, those components are so simple to replace that you don't need any tools or any expertise. If you're operating the fleet of SolarTech units, many of the unit's parts are interchangeable, similar to the ingenious manufacturing methods of the early Ford Motor Company. For example, a headlight used to fit several different models of vehicles. And that effectively kept the costs of maintenance and manufacturing much lower than their competitors. Best of all, SolarTech is backed by a five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, whereas most competing brands only offer a one- or two-year warranty. But five years, that's pretty hard to beat. Easy to use. If you're uncomfortable using technology, the LCD touchscreen control panel is easy, it's intuitive enough for you to use without reading an instruction Bible before operating it. You can quickly program it using the touch of a finger, and you can even take advantage of features such as the quick pick pre-programmed messages. This way, when you arrive at your destination on the side of a busy highway, it'll limit the amount of time you have to spend in harm's way. Simply pre-program the messages before you leave, and then when you arrive on site, with a single tap, you can actively display your message. You can even save multiple quick pick messages. SolarTech message boards can also display animated graphics, messages, and sequences so that you can display longer messages broken up into several different screens, one after another. You can also schedule messages to begin them at a certain date and time. And there's a lot of other features beyond that. Remote control. Now here's where things get really interesting. Every unit comes with a built-in GPS receiver and GSM modem at no extra cost. Using the command center software, you can manage, monitor, and even segment your fleet. Command center has a built-in GPS mapping for all of your units, and you can track exactly where they are and what they're displaying. Updating a message remotely can be done using a desktop computer, or you can even control it using your smartphone without the need of installing any apps or software. Not only can you control the units from anywhere, they're also extremely smart. You can receive notifications and alerts when your battery is getting low, when the unit has moved over 500 feet to prevent theft, and even to provide you with diagnostic alerts if the unit happens to experience things like a sign panel pixel failure or other display errors. Having these automated notifications and the power to update messages remotely can drastically reduce the number of trips you need to make to site and minimize any downtime. Another really neat feature is that you can optionally add on radar capabilities to any message board so that it can provide real-time driver feedback and tell what speed motors are traveling. You can also integrate the speed to display into a sequence message, such as accident ahead, slow down, your speed 68 kilometers. Or another example, schools back in, the speed limit is 30, your speed 43 kilometers an hour. Solartech also offers built-in data collection and radar statistics, and you can quickly generate valuable reports such as the lowest, highest, and average speeds. Now coming back around to our initial question about the price, as you can imagine, after listening to just a few of the features and benefits, the price can be designed to fit almost any budget. There's several different types of models and a lot of different sizes, and each of them have its own unique set of purposes. Being that these devices can be highly technical, we recommend that you contact us for any help and any questions, and we can help you make an educated decision and get you the right unit that fits your needs. We have a friendly team of experts ready to create a personalized price estimate for you, and we're gonna do it quickly. Feel free to contact us using our toll-free number, by email, or using the quote form on our websites. To learn more about this product and other great products like it, Trust the experts at 310 Sign.